I'm going to do an example of solving a system of equations algebraically using the substitution method. This is from section 3.2 in the Prentice Hall Algebra 2 book. Here's an example. x plus 3y equals 7 and 2x minus y equals 7. A system of equations usually has this brace in the front to show that they come together as a pair. I usually number my equations, equation number 1 and equation number 2, so that I can communicate with you about which equation I'm talking about. The first step of the substitution method is solve for either, solve for either variable in either equation. Solve for either variable in either equation. A lot of students assume that you must solve for a y, but that's not the case. In my example, I think I'll solve for the x in the first equation. I'll put a circle around it so that I don't lose sight of the fact that that's the variable that I want to isolate. It's a good choice because the coefficient is 1. A coefficient is a number that gets multiplied by a variable. And this coefficient is 1, and we usually don't waste any ink writing it down. Another good choice would be to solve for the second y, because also its coefficient is 1. However, I want to make the point that you don't always have to solve for y. So in equation number 1, I'm going to isolate the x. This is equation number 1, x plus 3y equals 7. I'm going to subtract 3y from both sides of the equation, and I'm left with x equals negative 3y plus 7. Now I'm going to put a bubble around this equation because that's going to come in handy here in just a little bit. So, step one, solve for either variable in either equation. I chose the x in the first equation, and when I solved for that x, I got x equals negative 3y plus 7. All right, step two is to plug that expression into the other equation. It's important that you plug it into the other equation. Plug that expression into the other equation. Since I solved for x using the first equation, I need to plug what I got into the x from the second equation. So I'm going to rewrite the second equation with an empty space where the x used to be. 2x minus y equals 7. 2x minus y equals 7. I said x, but I left an empty space. What do you suppose goes in that space? Exactly what I solved for the x from the first equation. So negative 3y plus 7 is going to get plugged into this empty space for the x from the second equation. Negative 3y plus 7. That was step two. Step three is to now solve for the only variable left. Solve for the only variable that's left. Okay, solve for the only variable that's left. In this example, you don't have any choice. The x is already eliminated, so y is the only variable that remains. I'm going to distribute the 2, and I'll have negative 6y plus 14 
minus y equals 7. Combining like terms, the negative 6y minus this y is negative 7y plus 14 equals 7. Now subtract 14 from both sides. And I'm left with negative 7y equals negative 7. One more step, divide by negative 7. And I have that y equals 1. So I've done step 3. Solve for the only variable that's left. In this case, that was the y. And I was left with y equals 1. Okay, the last step, step four, is to plug that value, plug that value into the first solved equation. Plug that value into the first solved equation. Now, I know it seems like I'm going in circles here, but I put a bubble around that first solved equation when I solved it so that it would be easy to find right now. So I'm going to take this y equals 1 that I just found and plug it in to the y right there. So x equals negative 3 times 1 plus 7. That's negative 3 plus 7, which equals 4. So with an x that equals 4 and a y that equals 1, I just found the ordered pair that is a solution to this system of equations, the ordered pair 4, 1. Now, of course, it's a good idea to check that in both equations. So I'm going to go back to my original problem and put a 4 in for the x and a 1 in for the y. So in the first equation, 4 for x and 1 for y gives me 4 plus 3 times 1, which is 7. Check. In the second equation, put a 4 in for the x, put a 1 in for the y. I get 2 times 4, which is 8, minus 1 is 7. Check. So 4, 1 is the solution, and I solved it using the substitution method.